Hi folks, it's Rob here. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, a new tool I've had to buy um, for this RC hobby. Um, the other day I uh, came to do some uh, soldering, only to find that uh, my soldering iron had stopped working. So I ordered this little beast. If we take it out of the box. of the box as you can see it's a lot smaller and sleeker than uh, my old one it's uh, 80 watt supposedly I don't know it was uh, really cheap off eBay it comes with uh, six different tips it's also got an LCD display and you can adjust the temperature. Let's give it a try, hey? Okay. Yeah, we're on centigrade and, oh, as you can see there, it's set to 299. I don't know if I can press it up. Yeah. So let's just keep going till it stops. Oh no, it's going higher. Ah, oh, there we go. 480 degrees C. Quite hot. So, yeah, I can feel it getting warm. So, I think. Okay, so uh, it's been on for a bit. And uh, I've turned it down to 350 for the minute. And what I have discovered is in this top right hand corner here, there's uh, a little icon that flashes until it's got to temperature. So, no it's not flashing. It's at temperature. I don't know if I turn it up. There you go. You can see that. There we go. It's flashing. And then it's saying it's at temperature. That's what I believe anyway. So, we'll get to clean it up a bit. I've got some uh, one mil lead free solder and what I've got here is a Hobby King cheap um, servo tester. I found a spare servo cable that I cut off a servo that had uh, completely and utterly uh, stopped working so I thought I'd uh, solder that on to here so that I can hopefully just plug a battery pack in I've got this battery pack here that I can uh, hopefully plug in to supply power save having to plug it into a receiver etc etc so uh, we'll just give this uh, new soldering iron a test I'm just going to tin these leads first and put a dab of solder on, hold it on and dab it on. Like so. And there we go. Not too bad. I don't know if it'll last very long, but uh, it was um, definitely less than a tenner. I think it might have been £8 something. So, uh, yeah, good job. So, one thing to note once you've finished, make sure you unplug it. And let it cool down before you take it out of your holder. And uh, the jobs are good. Just before we finish, I uh, forgot this is how uh, we change the tips. Um, and what I have found is that this plastic 
black bit here with the grips on also can come undone so what I suggest you do is grab hold of that with one hand and undo the retaining screw with your other hand and the tips simply come off you can pop another one on and then simply he says but it is more tricky now oh, there we go getting these screws the threads engaged and we simply tighten it up and there we have a bigger tip for more substantial soldering if needed and with that I think I'll end it there I hope you've enjoyed watching this and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one cheers bye